Tech fans, what is going on? I'm sure, like me, you're stuck at home right now waiting for the quarantine to end. And, you know, that's all cool. It's just uh, trying to keep, you know, our hands and minds filled with stuff to do while we're at home. It gets a little bit crazy because we're all used to going out and doing stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody's really used to being cooped up at home. I mean, a lot of people probably said, hey, all right, cool, you know, a free 14-day vacation. But that's not what it's like for some folks. So first and foremost, um, I hope that everyone out there, all of my fans and their family and their friends, everybody is healthy and doing good. It's kind of best, to, you know, to do the social distancing thing and only really go out when you need to. I mean, obviously people need food and they need stuff like that, but there's no reason to hoard and go crazy. Just, you know, be mellow and the mellower you are, things will be cool. Now, beyond that, let's talk a little bit about NVIDIA RTX cards and DLSS 2.0. Now, when NVIDIA first released the RTX series of cards, everyone really knows that doing the ray tracing and everything was really only possible with a 2080 Ti. I mean, you know, they had cards, you know, they got released all the way down to 2060, but the ray tracing thing on it, everybody was like, yeah, yeah it works okay on those cards, but yeah, it's nothing to write home about, you know, so big deal doesn't mean anything. But now, NVIDIA has DLSS 2.0. Now, DLSS 2.0, it changes all the features and functions that are going on with your video card and the system, and it allows you to do ray tracing even on the RTX 2060 cards, which is the, basically the entry-level RTX cards. Now, that to me is going to be a game changer for NVIDIA. Now, a lot of people out there say that they're, you know, that they're getting these results by cheating, yada, yada, yada. But if you're playing a game and your eyes say it looks great and your eyes say it's playing great, to me, at the end of the day, that's what counts. You know what I mean? And we're seeing that a lot more people are buying video cards. I mean, the RTX 2060, 2060 Super are seeing all kinds of crazy sales numbers right now. It's just kind of off the hook. It really just is. And um, I think that by the time that the next generation of RTX cards comes out, we're going to see ray tracing everywhere. And while we're speaking about computers and stuff, Let's real quick check out a word from today's sponsor, Busy Future. Now, I don't know if you guys need a Windows key, but these guys sell Windows Pro keys. They're under $20. All of them work. Many of my readers have used them before. Many of the people who come to the site have tried them and left messages saying, hey, this stuff works absolutely great, so there's really no risk. You buy any antivirus pack, and there's packs as low as $15. You actually get a free Windows 10 key. So we'll have a link down below. Check that out. Now, back to RTX. Ray tracing is something that is really cool. A lot of people, you know, originally said, oh, you know, all it does is make things shiny. It, you know, it makes things shiny, does reflections. But here's the thing. Shiny stuff, reflections, and all that kind of stuff is the pathway to better games, especially in VR. I mean, if you can't make a game look totally killer badass and do that in 2D, you know, and, you know, because, like, let's just face it, really, when you're playing a game online, I don't care if it says it's really 3D or not, it's not a 3D game. You're looking at a screen, and there's really only two dimensions on that screen. Now, when you put on the VR goggles, and you've got multiple layers, then you're getting a 3D more type of thing. But even right now, there is really no true 3D, because if there was a true 3D... It would be like me looking at Cole, the cameraman, and I would be seeing him and I'd be able to, to go around and see every part of him in true 3D. So right now, there really is no true 3D. But RTX is bringing things more like nature. That, to me, is how I really see the RTX and ray tracing. It's making games look more and more and more realistic. Like when you go out now and you see games, I mean, even in some cheesy games and cheesy cartoons, people who are using NVIDIA to render stuff, the stuff looks amazing. I mean, outdoor stuff, nature looks really, really close to the real deal. I mean, especially water and nature. Those things look really awesome. And inside of a game now with ray tracing, what you're seeing is that 
when something is shiny, it's shiny. If something's leaving a reflection, it's actually, you know, doing a real reflection. Outside, you know, the trees, the wind, the blowing, all of these things are all part of that. Um, people complained and said, oh, you know, PhysX was just a waste of time. It was a ripoff in NVIDIA, but now pretty much every game out there incorporates PhysX and nobody even talks about it. It's just like a feature that's in the trunk. Oh, okay, you know, like, you know, when you get a car and you know, you expect it's gonna have eight cylinders, it's gonna have four cylinders, you know, you have expectations. Now you just expect PhysX to be in there. I mean, it's, it's, it's not even afterthought. You're just like, yeah, it, it's in there. But remember it first came out you know, people were like, oh, yeah, whatever. But but PhysX was really cool. If anybody ever played the original game Unreal and had a PhysX card and saw that waterfall and everything coming down, it was just, to me, that was mind-boggling. To me, a lot of the games that are out now are kind of just a rehash of, you know, everything that we've been doing. I mean, not really, truly too many original games. I mean, why else would we have, like, Final Fantasy 97? You know what I mean? They just keep making the same games and changing them around. Same thing with movies, you know? You know, they make Die Hard. Then all of a sudden we're up to Die Hard 6. You know, it's like, what the heck, man? Originality to me has gone out the window. So if you're not going to really have originality, the only thing really to do is improve on what you have. And um, RTX... Honestly, when it first came out, there weren't very many games that were on board. But here's the thing also, I tried to explain at that time. People are like, oh, you paid my NVIDIA. I have my own thoughts in my own mind. And maybe when NVIDIA did release the original RTX cards, that they were overpriced. That's that. But you know what? Here's the whole thing at the end of the day. Nobody's ever forcing anybody to buy this stuff. Like, really? Has anybody ever come up to you and said, hey, dude, you have to buy an RTX card or else? You didn't have to. There were plenty of 1080 Ti cards out there that were dirt cheap and 1080 cards. Now these new cards came that you could just jump on. So if you didn't want to deal with it, you didn't have to. So I never really understood the fact why people are complaining and saying, because I like the tech, I've been paid off by NVIDIA. What? I think that the idea of ray tracing, which is like I said in my other previous videos, goes back actually to the 16th century. Ray tracing is nothing new. The idea has been around forever. Now it's just actually being in your game. And I'm sure that AMD's new cards, whenever they come out, will have ray tracing features in them. They will. That's just the way it is. NVIDIA basically threw it out there and now it's the thing. Now, AMD obviously in CPU and Arena originally came up with 64-bit CPUs and they were ahead of the game. And like I was running Windows 64-bit long before most people even knew what the heck it really was. But that's a whole nother ball of wax. DLSS 2.0. It is honestly going to change the playing field for NVIDIA and all of their RTX cards. And right now, this is kind of trippy because the timing in a way couldn't honestly be better because, like I said at the very beginning of the video, people are stuck at home right now. I mean, that's just how they are. And most people are gaming. Like, Cole, every time I'm going to do something else, I turn around, he's in there playing Call of Duty, getting crazy, and he's not used to PC. He comes from, he's a console peasant. Admit it. Console peasant. You're a console peasant. Well, he was a console peasant until he started playing on, on my gaming computer back here. And then we started playing my gaming computer. He's like, oh, wow. It's wow. It's so much easier to, to, to get a headshot and so much easier to operate than I was like, yeah, how the heck? Because me personally, I cannot take that joystick and get headshots very well. I suck. I'll play in the admit it. I grew up with joysticks on Nintendo, so I can hop, jump around. Then I kind of moved up into the, you know, the PlayStation original where we were doing techno and all these, uh, Tekken rather, and all these fighting games, and I could do that. But now they got so many controllers, it's just like, I can't, can't do it. And you got one thing, one little thing to, to toggle around to try to try to, to aim, the other one to try to move. No, nah, man, give me my PC, my WASD, my mouse, I'm good to go. And now that he's discovered that, he's like, oh my God. And um, Call of Duty, we've been tweaking it every day, trying different settings, different stuff. I don't know what's going on here, but I think my ladybug wants to come say hi. She, she keeps coming over here. So here, this is the ladybug dog. If you guys have not met her, this is my girl dog. She's a pup. She's only two years old. She's a rescue. She was being abused by some women. They were actually kicking her around, treating her bad, and I got her. And um, she is a super-duper love puppy. She's honestly the sweetest little pup ever. So anyways, back to RTX. Ray tracing in games has gotten more and more momentum as the year has gone by. Now, 
If you guys happen to watch the video the other day where I talked about some lab types, there's all kinds of different people now that are supporting the ray tracing features right from the ground up. And all of the games that originally came out, a lot of them, as you guys know, were actually patched games. They were a game that was made. And then, you know, NVIDIA is saying, hey, we got these new features. Can you stick them in there so that, like, you know, uh, people can, like, you know, uh, say there's some ray tracing stuff? Okay, well, that's how it originated. But now that time has passed, there are all kinds of developers out there who are releasing games that have ray tracing features from the ground up. And that means a lot more options. And now that DLSS 2.0 is, is coming out and is going to be here, well, that's going to change the field because even the entry-level cards, like I said, we'll put the little girl down, they'll be able to play those games and they'll be able to do it. Now, whether NVIDIA is cheating to get those numbers or whatever, like I said earlier, if you're playing a game, that game looks good, it's playing good, you don't notice anything bad, especially you know if you have a monitor and you've got a G-Sync monitor and everything, you're just going to be in gaming heaven. And having all of these new features that make things just look better is just going to honestly make your gaming experience better. Now, you can hate on NVIDIA. You can say, oh, they suck. We love AMD, yada, 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 yada. Uh, at the end of the day, honestly, what works for you is what you should use. And putting down other companies and saying, oh, these guys suck, blah, 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 blah. I think it's honestly just ridiculous. I've said it a million times. Every corporation out there is out to make money. And right now, it's true. AMD is doing really good in the CPU market. And we all know in the GPU market, AMD has not really delivered. And now there's rumors that the new Zen 3 stuff is kind of not going to be that great. Who knows? I guess there's some rumors from Adored TV going on about that. And some other sites have talked about it as well. You know, but at the end of the day, it's your money, it's your choice. But with DLSS 2.0, even if you have an entry level RTX card, you're going to be able to now play your games and get those features and get a lot better frame rates. And when you're using performance mode, quality mode, you're just going to see a difference overall. Um, we're trying to get set up here. It's really hard now because everything's really closed and we can't really actually, you guys see the room where I'm just kind of playing right here. I haven't even really had a chance to get set up back here in Kentucky for what's going on. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky that Cole's even able to make it to work because he's from Nashville, Tennessee, and I live in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. So he has to hop back and forth, you know, across, across that border there. I mean, it's not like quite, you know, crossing the Mexican border or anything, but he's still, you know, got to cross the border, you know. He's a Tennessee boy. But that's about it, folks. So... If you're a fan of NVIDIA and you're a fan of RTX and ray tracing, then I just think you're going to be much happier with what's going on with DLSS 2.0. You know, we're going to see more about it. Hopefully I will be able to figure out a way to show you guys DLSS and then DLSS 2.0 and show the differences in game performance and what it's like because I think those will be cool videos. But that's about it, folks. I hope that everybody out there is staying safe. I hope that everybody is well. Um, God bless you all. Thanks for watching the channel. We're still trying to get our act together here. I, f I fully admit it's a total different life change for me moving back to Kentucky. Just the way, you know, that things are. And it's been really crazy back here so far. It rained for the first month every day that I was here. Sun's barely out a few days. And then we got, well, you know what's going on. Good old C-19, baby. So, love you guys. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more. Well, guess what? Frickin' tech, baby.